All right, guys, here we are again. Uh, we sit on the front porch, uh, Pastor John Grimes house. I'm Pastor Mark Dixon of STF Community Church, and we just want you to know it's all about him. Yeah, we're here today. Just the sun's out. It's beautiful. Uh, we um, we kind of opened up the the uh, controversial scripture last week of First John chapter three. Uh, not the not the uh, beautiful passage of scripture, verses one through three, but uh, from there on through verse nine, where it spoke, spoke was speaking about sin, uh, and it, it was very intense and it was very powerful. And maybe we got a little lengthy. Sometimes we get caught up in, in, in our exchange oh, yeah. and we, we just get lost in it. But we're just here. We just want you to share the gospel with you. Please, uh, once again, as uh, uh, Brother John said, just encourage others to tune in to our All About Him segments every Friday. Uh, we, we take our time to just try and devour the scripture and open it up to you in a personal way. So we're going to start from um, 1 John chapter 3. We're going to begin at verse 10 and just read a couple of scriptures, verse 10 and 11. It says in verse 10, In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Oh, wow. So this, he said, in this, the first nine verses is manifest, and God is drawing a definitive uh, line spiritual line between the children of God and the children of the devil. And that's what he said. Mm -hmm. In this is in this was manifest the the uh, children of God or the children of the devil. And, and and that's powerful. Now you say, well I'm not no devil or no children of the I'm not no child of the devil. I'm just just cause I just cause I drink a little bit or just because I'm not married and I'm I'm living with somebody or just because uh uh, I'm uh, uh, of same have a same sex partner, or just because just because I don't go to your church, that mean I'm of the devil. No, listen, the, the proof is in the scripture. Now the, the, we're not we're not pointing any fingers at anybody, but the Bible says that in this, in the first nine scriptures, mm -hmm. in the first nine verses, it says is manifest whether you're the children of God or the children of the devil. And Jesus told them. Now there was a bunch of people that were religious. There were Sadducees, Pharisees, and they kept after Jesus, and he said. You are of your father, the devil. And then it was like slapping. It was like it was like just going up and slapping the preacher right across five across <laughs> the lips. You know, <laughs> you are the of the devil. He said your father was a liar, and he was a liar from the beginning because they were they were not they were telling people one thing and doing another. But here we go, and we're going to talk about today uh, what the difference is, what the the the, the defining difference between children of the devil and the children of God. That's what we're going, that's what we're about, the, the defining difference. It's not all about the sin because um, I might stumble around, mess around, and catch you sinning. Mm -hmm. I know you say, oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> no, no, or, 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 or I might catch you, or you might uh, see me in an angry spot like I was mm -hmm. talking about in a message the other night. That I, I was just angry about what was going on in the country and and not opening the churches up when they're opening up everything else. And I was angry, and, and Tammy was trying to comfort me. And I looked at her and said, stop trying to comfort me. I don't want to be, I want to be angry. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, and, and, and I, I know you wasn't right, but I wanted to express, I wanted to feel what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And so that was, a, that was a weak moment for me. And I'm not afraid to say it. And, and I told Tammy, I, I mean, I didn't cheer out, I'd jump on her, I didn't beat her up. And, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just, I just, I just her and said, "Don't quit trying to comfort me." And uh, and I come back about ten minutes later. I said, "I'm sorry. I didn't didn't mean to come off like that. I've just, you know, because I, I try to speak real peacefully to my wife." But here's the thing: What's the difference between a bonafide, bonafide, manifested, uh, exposed, revealed child of God, and a bonafide, manifested, exposed? child of the devil. Read verse, read, read verse 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the oh, brethren. Oh, glory to God. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Wow. You know, I, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I don't know if y'all I knew it was coming. It's about love. It's about loving people. Yep. You know, the, in the, the first nine verses we talked last week, you know, sin whether or not you're committed or not committed really determines if you're a child of God or a child of Satan. But it's not always about what you're not doing. It's also about what are you doing. See, do you know why sinners love Jesus? Well, he's so loving that they love them. See, everybody is not a pastor or a, a choir director or a Sunday school teacher or uh, maybe you're just living life and 
was alive then. And and God loves you right where you're at. And people, the sinners, people, people that were in sin, people that were in sin, sinners. I mean, blatantly, openly sin, they love Jesus. Because he loved them in their sin. He didn't have to be perfect. He loved them enough to, to bring them, love them in the place of their sin. Uh, Jesus said there's two what's the two greatest commandments? Love the, the Father with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. And the second is love your brother. Love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, and they said, Who is my who is my neighbor? And Jesus said, I was hungry. You fed me. I was thirsty. You gave me something to drink. I was in prison. Wait, I, I got locked up for a three DUIs and you came down and you mm -hmm. sat in between the glass and you told me you loved me. I was in the hospital sick and you come prayed me. See, so Jesus uh, love goes far beyond uh, someone you call sister or brother in the church. And it goes far beyond just words too because what you're, you was just saying, Jesus, he gave us a picture of how to love. It's not just, I love you, brother. I Pastor John, they, I they, they, you, they, they climbed trees to see him, man. Yeah. And it, oh my gosh, it was man. Because if, if you, you go back and look, it was loving them where they was. You know, you know, maybe we should have done it from a treetop today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I'm know, a little past that. But. but you know, they were willing to go to those lengths because for someone in his position, he was the pastor. He was the shepherd. The and, and, you, and you'd have all these religious people and he'd look at some, some centered, low down people, hated on tax collector. He said, I want to come eat at your house. I want to come hang out with you. They cast a, a, a woman in adultery and he bent down and just took her by the hand and said, I'm not going to condemn her. You? Can you? Yeah. Hey, hey any of y'all not have yeah, so yeah. It's a, He loved people. And the Bible tells us that that is, see, uh, sinners or people that's lost love people that's lost. Some, But see, people that saves got to love. You know, I've, I've heard There's you use this many yeah. times, and you take two lost people, they get drunk, they beat each other, to, I mean, to a pulp. Yeah. The night before, the next day, they buddies. They home buddies, that's right. And you have two Christians, yeah. two church folks, someone just says a snide remark hurts their feelings. They don't even talk for a month. And, I, and I'd ask you, which one is showing love? Well, you see, the difference is sinners are people that are lost they love those that are like they are mm -hmm. the true that one is passing death for life loves everybody and, and they, they, they not only do they they love the brother to go to church with but they love the brother out there that's not yet in church and the apostle paul he put it like <laughs> it you know you were once like them yeah and, and as a as you said passing from death yeah. to life we also got to be we got to remember that yeah. I used to do stuff like that. That was me a few years back. You know, Lord of God. It's so easy, you know, to get up on this high holy horse and say, Well, I'm a Christian now. I don't do that stuff. I ain't gotta treat you. I don't We've gotta love those people because you know what, without Jesus coming into our lives and transforming us, we were those people. Yeah. Well, and Jesus loved us right there. Mm -hmm. Jesus Jesus loved us. See it, it, it look to first John chapter four. In verse 9. In 10 and 11, read it. It says, In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live, live through, through Him. him. Yeah. Herein is love. Yeah. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Mm. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. So that that this is what's so powerful. And people say, well, there ain't no difference between lost people, saved people, just knowing Jesus. I gotta differ with there is there see our our desire, our desire <laughs> is to is to see people come to know Christ. So we have to love them. We can't walk around with a condemning now. I'm guilty of it, as you are, and or you were, uh, and as anybody else was. When I first became born again, all I knew was heaven was sweet and hell was hot. Yep. There was nothing in between. You was either going to hell, you're going to heaven, and, and if, if you, uh, I mean, you, and that's the message. That, but but as I've grown in in uh, understanding, 
Man, you gotta love people. You no, gotta love people because like if this. you can't love them, they go to hell without God. When you first get saved, it's almost like it's a line. It's just an ordinary line, and then as you grow, you realize there's a lot more depth to it. There's a lot. This isn't just a line. This is a whole lot deeper than what so, I thought. So if God loved us when we didn't even love Him, mm -hmm. He's how much more should we love others? Because God sent His Son to die for our sins for the propitiation. Now, the, this the, the propitiation means God swapped His Son in place of our sins. Mm -hmm. In other words, He became sin for us. So here's the difference. Made the train. Here's the difference. I'm sorry for all the sports analogies. We yeah. just hadn't had any in a yeah. while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know. Uh, Jesus said, um, and, and this is why we, we, we're, we're not lifting up uh, Pastor John, Pastor Mark, or Estelle Commit. We wouldn't lift up Jesus because, you know, but for him, I'd still be lost. Mm -hmm. But for him, I'd still be broken. We're going to wind this thing up now. But, uh, but we talked about some very controversial things last this week and last week about the difference between sinners and saints. And there is a difference. One's, one is committed to sin, and the other may sin, but he's not in commitment to it. He's, he's fighting it tooth and nail. Mm. And, here, and, then, and then when that takes place, the greater difference comes. You love people even in their sin. Mm. Where they are. Right where yeah. they are. Right where they are. So um, we just want you to know we love you right where you're at. Um, Estelle Community Church is a place of love. It's a place of uh, embracing. Uh, right now we can't hug you, but it's a place of embracing who you are in the life that you're living to try and help you find a greater life in Christ. There, there is a better way. There is a greater life. And the only way is Jesus Christ. We want you to know that he loved us enough to bring us in. He'll love you too. As a, as a, make, a, make a last statement today. I would say choose love. Mm. And, and, and I know that, you know, going off last week, it seems like, you know, last week didn't feel like love. Sometimes love is telling the truth, even though it might hurt somebody. Yeah, it's feelings. Yeah, but it's beneficial. And, and you know, we speak on the, the true word of God because we love people. Yeah. And I and I can speak for myself. I'm sure Pastor Marsh is saying there's been times we've preached messages that was truthful that needed to be said, and, and people didn't like it. Yeah. Because it hurt them. Because Probably it was my in, last message. I preached <laughs> like that. Because it it's, it was in conflict with their lives. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But if we don't preach the truth to people, if you don't preach the truth to people, and, and, and I'm not saying, hey, you're going to hell, I'm, preach it with love, yeah. how can we ever expect change to occur? Well, let's say let's say this as, as I close the prayer. Hell's just as real as heaven is. Mm -hmm. And uh, the difference is you ain't got to come here. The choice is yours. We love you so much, and uh, we just want you to know today that uh, we, we would love to have you come be a part of who we are. A part of a part of our life, not just go to church with us. Mm. I mean, you know, we, we do a lot uh, as far as living life together, and that's what being a Christian is. We're supposed to embrace one another's lives and love one another. So we love you, and let, let's pray, Father, in Jesus' name. I just love you and thank you for the for the true message, Lord. That uh, from last week that they just kind of rolled on over into this week. That, that you know that we've passed from death to life if we love one another. And God, we love our people. We love those that we don't even know. We want to help people, and God, we want to reach into their lives with your grace and with your truth and with your and the embrace of your love we pray that you bless us god and let us grow that we might help others grow lord let us love that we might show others the love of jesus god i would pray that you'd be with us god be with the all about him broadcast lord just let it grow bigger and greater and mightier in people's lives just so we can spread the word of god in jesus name i pray amen amen hey we'll be back next friday don't know where don't know what we're going we're, going, we're on location now we're starting to travel and it's just going to be fun. You never know. We might end up in Florida again. Oh, that's where we started this thing. You know, we started this thing a year ago in Florida. We might end up back down there in Florida eating crab legs. Yeah, who knows? But we're just going to live life, and we're going to live it big for Jesus. We just want you to know it's all about Him. God bless you. We'll see you next week.